hot is not a cardiovascular based disorder. It is a cardiovascular based manifestation. Okay, so you see the issues with your heart rate as a result of something else. So it's manifested there, but this is not the underlying cause. If it was, it would actually respond much better to the treatments than it does. So what is it exactly? Well, when we look at POTS, POTS falls underneath the family of dysautonomia. Okay, autonomia, autonomic nervous system. So we're gonna put NS, nervous system. So dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. So you've got your parasympathetic, sympathetic. Now this should be shifting back and forth, right? Yes, we're typically more parasympathetic than sympathetic, but we're never ne necessarily all or nothing. So we're, we're really shifting. So this is a problem there. And that's why we're talking about POTS and neuroplasticity because neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to change and connect. So it's really to change. Let's put learn, right? Because when neuroplasticity is positive, it is strengthening good connections that you want strengthened. But when neuroplasticity is negative, guess what? You can also strengthen bad connections that you don't want to reinforce, but that can happen too. And if this is making sense, I'm about to help you go a little bit further because this is a nervous system based disorder. And when we look at the brainstem, okay, we've got the brainstem, we've got the cortex, you've got this top part here is known as more sympathetic. This part here, right, is known more as parasympathetic. The brain, the cortex, fires down to your parasympathetic areas primarily. From here, it fires down to the rest of the body to control your heart rate, to control your blood pressure, to control your intestines, to control right your spleen, all of that stuff. But then it also falls up here to keep your sympathetic nervous system in check. Now, one of the things that people talk about in neuroplasticity is they will talk about right here, you've got what's called your vagus nerve. So this is kind of all the hype the past couple of years. Well, before his hype, we were still doing it. So vagus nerve is actually what helps to regulate all of these.